travel to Vanheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No 
no moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You'd have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. <laughs> Don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really forgiving you for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting oh. loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern you. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good, mm -hmm. but so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm. It's bottle time. But there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Ah! <laughs> 
By a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Thought as Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Frey, <laughs> an exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hearty, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, 
Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye. That's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. Again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. <laughs> Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield.
I bring it down, we strike. Yep. <laughs> Uh... Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. <laughs> this is definitely an ambush. Yes. Get to it from up here. Called it. Careful, brother. You're covered in fire guard. Puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! Double ambush? Okay, didn't see that coming. <laughs> She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Waterfall! 
Still up there. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. Aye, and there's that. <laughs> you know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon? Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. From hell on. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Ah! 
But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement? The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. It goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Hmm. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the cab. Wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. Look out! Wow, 
wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. like the egros. We can get across from up here. So, we report back to Hilda's Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact the price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father.
the plants here want to kill us? We don't know. Only the carnaptious ones. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowsunder. Hounds Ooh. prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bale has already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat.
plan. I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. more soldiers since our last visit. <laughs> our disadvantages are many.
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. <laughs> Careful, brother. You're covered in bison. Behind you! said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure haven? Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. Incoming fire! Step above! Careful, brother! You're covered in my thoughts! Oh, my God. 
Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. This way. <laughs> 